What's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here and in today's video we're going to be looking at an open source alternative to Claude's artifacts. This is AI Artifacts by E2B. We're going to show you how you can use it for free in some instances as well as self-host it and let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so this is AI Artifacts. All links will be this, uh, in the description down below as always. So this is by, made by a company, E2B. So this app is using E2B's Code Interpreter SDK and Core SDK for AI code execution. Um, E2B provides a cloud sandbox to run AI generate, uh, AI generate code securely and handle installing libraries running shell commands python javascript r and nextjs apps and more so this is the cool thing that kind of interests me regarding this app is that with claude um and we'll do some kind of tests in just a second once we install uh install it but um you may be able to generate code in the artifacts but sometimes lots of times it's not functional uh just based on like ha having certain libraries or this or that depending on what you're trying to generate so with this open source tool the reason the uh, how they use like the e2b sandbox you're actually able to get a bit more functionality from what i've been seeing um and anyways so features uh claude sonnet 3.5 we have vercel ai sdk for tool calling and streaming responses supported ai generated co uh, code running ai python jupyter notebook xjs apps and streamlit apps and then um and then to do vanilla js typescript r and then stream ai generated code is on there to do so very simple to install it we'll get into that in just a second but first i just want to mention that there is somewhat of like a free option i personally probably wouldn't i don't see this as necessarily a long-term thing anytime i see like someone where they have it on the web like it's a cloud thing and it's using their api keys you never fully know, can rely on that to be free for however long right just because um you know they they may rate limit it or this or that obviously it's costing them when you use this but if you go to the link right here artifacts.e2b.dev i'll leave a link to um you can at the time of this recording you can use it for free uh, i don't know if there is some sort of rate limit or whatnot all you simply do is log in using either an email or your github and then you'll be able to log in and access it i'm just gonna because the artifacts is right here i'm just gonna minimize myself just for this now as you can see here i just asked a very very simple thing the thing that every um person really asks on youtube when they're doing some sort of ai coding hey just build me a to-do list or whatever we're, don't worry we're gonna try some different stuff in just a second as you can see here um it's it took a little bit of time it's going to take a little bit longer than claude but um we got the artifact right here we can see the code as you can see i used the nextjs developer you can use a python data analyst or the streamlet developer and then there's different models so gpt40 gpt40 mini gpt4 turbo what's on 3.5 gemini pro gemini flash mistral Looks like they added a bunch actually so together ai brock um so i haven't even tried some of these other ones but um you can go ahead copy the code see the code here now it looks like we're getting a bad gateway for some reason um don't know why that would be but maybe if we refresh it okay so it didn't actually take too long as you can see the code right here use client using uh xjs so make sure you select the right persona and then if we go preview here we can see now of course um you could tell it to make sure the text right here is black uh not white on white um and you could probably like let's say test it seems not to be functional but um i've used it sometimes where it is functional but sometimes it's, you're not going to get all, it's not perfect by any means like let's say make sure i can add new tasks and allow me to drag and drop tasks to different can ban boards okay so it's still not perfect uh still not fully functional 
But as you can see here, we got some to do's, some different uh, stages right here to do in progress done. I told it to have an edit and a delete function in the um, Kanban board so I can delete that. Still having some issues adding the um, task, even though I told it. I didn't have it do it last time, but then the text wasn't uh, black, so I tried to change that. But as you can see, it's pretty cool. Um, you can copy the code like so. And uh, yeah, so now we're going to look at self-hosting it. So, all right, so if you're going to self-host it, it's fairly simple to do. All you're going to do is you're going to copy the GitHub link, and the link for that obviously will be in the description. And you're going to go to your terminal, and you're going to need Git. So um, you can download Git. If you don't have Git, go to Google and search Git download, and you're just simply going to Git clone it. So um, you would go like this and just search, type git clone and then the repo right here now i'm not going to do that since i already have it once you do that you're going to cd into that directory which is called ai dash artifacts and then once you're in that directory you're going to run npm i to install the dependencies and then what you can do is you can open up your either the uh, file so you can open up the folder and you're going to want to go to the dot env dot example file right here now mine says local because i changed it or as you can see it says create a local file um, and inside this local file you're going to see e2p api key as well as the anthropic api key so if you're self-hosting this of course you're going to have to pay for your api costs for anthropic and you're also going to have to get an e2b a API key. So you can go to e2b.dev and sign up. Uh, you can use like your GitHub account or um, your email, whatnot. Once you're in there, you'll see here you get $100 of free credits um, on their hobby tier, which I'm on. I'm just on the free one. And you get up to a one hour sandbox session length, up to 20 concurrently running sandboxes. So um, yeah, and then you, there is a pro plan. I don't know. Me personally, I'm probably just going to stick to their free plan, but when you go to your keys, you'll be able to either add an API key, but you should already have one, and you can just go ahead, copy that API key, and paste it in your environment variables, right? Once you do that, you can go ahead and save your, um, your environment uh, file, and then you're just going to go npm run dev. That's going to start it up on your port localhost 3000 if you're already using 3000 for something then it'll go uh to 3001 or two or whatever whatever available port all right once you're there you can actually just go to that port localhost 3000 or 3001 whatever and you will basically have the same thing self-hosted now right here always make sure you select the persona you want for whatever you're trying to create um, whether it's Python data analyst, Next.js developer, and Streamlit developer. Since it has these three personas, I think I think there's potential where ways you can kind of add your own um, if you want in the code. Um, but yeah, these are like the system prompts and they're pretty cool because, um, yeah, I mean, they're tailored for that specific app. So if you want to do stuff in Python, obviously select the Python data analyst and with all these you can pretty much do things and have capabilities that you actually can't out of box with um plot artifacts right like i said before it's not perfect as you can see here i said generate a chess game and it generated it uh using nextjs tailwind css and i said make it playable against a computer and it's definitely not perfect like if you if you can see here if you know anything about chess i can and it's not it's uh the everything's white it's kind of hard to see here but I can move a pawn and just instantly take their king. So it doesn't really know the, the rules of chess as it seems from what it did. But, um, I mean, you would have to, tr that's a little bit more complex with training in and having a playable computer, right? But um, if we look at the same example within Claude, took it a little bit more tweaking around than if I just said generate a game of chess, it didn't do that. So I had to say like coding with Next.js and then it, it did a bit and then i said i want to be able to preview it in the artifacts so um and then it actually did generate a previewable um chess board doesn't have pieces where i can play it or anything like that i mean you can definitely tweak it but um yeah so in terms of 
uh, E2B artifacts versus Claude artifacts. I think the the E2B free uh, cell, uh, cloud um, is pretty good right now because you can use it. And as of now, it's for free. Self-hosted version is pretty good too. You're obviously going to be paying for API credits as well as um, once you run out of that E2B $100, which will probably last you a little bit of time, then, you know, I don't know if, I mean, I don't know if there's a way to get renew or cancel that API key, get another one, whatever. But I personally probably wouldn't pay for their paid stuff. Um, but at the same time, Claude Artifacts is still really good, um, especially since if you're on the Claude plan, you can pretty much use it until you get rate limited. But um, yeah, I think it's good to have alternatives, especially when you're talking about using Claude with AI um, because, or with AI coding, because as of now, Claude is like the one AI that's really, really good with code, but it's also gonna, um, you're gonna reach a lot of rate limits and stuff either on the Claude's uh, service subscription or if you're, even if you're using their API, especially like if you're using Claude developer, I was hitting the API almost like every other time, basically API, uh, um, the API threshold or limit, whatever. So other than that, guys, just wanted to give you another update of a different AI coding tool, AI artifacts. Definitely give it a try. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Also too, guys, if you're new here, you got some value here, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. We, we upload videos every day on AI automation, business growth, um, you know, open source, AI coding, whatever the case may be. Also, too, guys, check out our free community, stridecommunity.com, our free Facebook group and free Discord channel. Link in the description down below. And then also, too, check out my book, Client Acquisition Code. If you want to get clients for your business, you can check that out. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.